reading from the book of Joshua. The Lord told Joshua, It was a disgrace for my people to be slaves in Egypt, but now I have taken away that disgrace. Israel continued to camp at Gilgal, in the desert near Jericho. And on the 14th day of the same month, they celebrated Passover. The next day, God stopped sending the Israelites manna to each eat morning, to eat each morning, and they started eating food grown in the land of Canaan. They ate roasted grain and thin bread made of barley. They had gathered from nearby fields. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see and see, taste and see. The goodness of the Lord, of the Lord. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the the Lord at all times. Praise of him is always on my mouth. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of He 
set me free. second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Sisters and brothers, anyone who belongs to Christ is a new person. The past is forgotten and everything is new. God has done it all. He sent Christ to make peace between himself and us. And, ha and he has given us the work of making peace between himself and others. What we mean is that God was in Christ, offering peace and forgiveness to the people of this world. And he has given us the work of sharing his message about peace. We were sent to speak for Christ, and God is begging you to listen to our message. We speak for Christ and sincerely ask you to make peace with God. Christ never sinned, but God treated him as a sinner so that Christ could make us acceptable to God. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Tax collectors and sinners were all crowding around to listen to Jesus. So the Pharisees and the teachers of the Law of Moses started grumbling. This man is friendly with sinners. He even eats with them. Then Jesus told them this story. Once there was a man who had two sons. The younger son said to his father, give me my share of the property. So the father divided his property between the two sons. Not long after that, the younger son packed up everything he owned and left for a foreign country where he wasted all of his money in wild living. He had spent nearly everything when a bad famine spread through the whole land. Soon, he had nothing to eat. He went to work for a man in that country, and the man sent him to take care of his pigs. He would have been glad to eat what the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. Finally, he came to his senses and said to himself, my father's workers have plenty to eat, and here am I, starving to death. I will go to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against God in heaven and against you. I am no longer good enough to be your son. Treat me like one of your workers. The younger son got up, started back to the father, but while he was still a long way off, the father saw him. He ran to his son, hugged him and kissed him. The son said, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer good enough to be called your son. But the father didn't listen. Hurry and bring the best clothes and put them on him. Give him a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet. Get the best calf and prepare it so we could eat and celebrate. This son of mine was lost and has been found. And they began to celebrate. Now the older son was out in the field. And when he came near the house, he heard the music and the dancing. So he called out to one of the servants and called him over and asked, what's going on here? The servant answered, Your brother has come home safe and sound, and your father ordered us to kill the best calf. The older brother got very angry, and he would not even go into the house, so his father went out to him and begged him. But he said to his father, For years I have worked for you like a slave and always obeyed you, but you have not given me even a little goat so that I could have dinner with my friends. This son of yours has wasted your money on human trafficked women and now has come home and you order the best calf to be killed for a great feast? And his father replied, My son, you are always with me. Everything that I have is yours. But we should be glad and celebrate. Your brother was dead and now he is alive. He was lost and has been found. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Gospel of the Lord. 